having intercourse or uh, having a sex without or unprotected sex. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So this is the Filipino Wonder, and for today, I will going to interview this okay. Filipina lady beside me. And first, I need her you know, to introduce herself first. Well, my name is Alfaya, and uh, I'm still a student from mm -hmm. Purdue. And, uh, and what are you studying right now? Oh, I'm I'm a caregiver student. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why you choose caregiver student? Yeah, I choose. Oh. I think it's it's my passion. Mm. I, I just followed my what's in my life, mm. what's my passion, what mm. my passion is in. And I guess it is also the purpose mm. and practically um, I have the plan to go abroad. Mm. Because you know, caregiver in abroad is the man mm. the man job and the salary. Mm. <laughs> of course practically the salary. So, do you mind me asking how much the tuition fee for the wow. caregiver? The, twi the tuition fee is 25,000. Mm. That's for four months? Yeah, for four months. And then, but miscellaneous things is that included. What do you think the so, cover all? I guess it's 35 to mm -hmm. 40. That's included for the OGTs? Yes. Oh, not bad. Not so bad because they're good. They're a good answer. teacher. Yeah. In Who's your skills. teacher? I can, you know, I can mention. Uh -huh. Okay, because like uh, I've known it's some. Oh yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, because like there in Cebu, I studied before like for six months. It's like um forty thousand plus, and then at the other miscellaneous fees, it's like it goes to like fifties. Something like that's quite expensive. So yeah, I'm shocked and then I want to know. <laughs> I like the uniform as well. Yeah, it's like a you're no. a nurse. Yeah. Or... I was like is it time to kind of ask like especially like I took the flu, I took this other uh. <laughs> Like you know, like um I guess uh, yeah. I'm just kind of we also have the navy blue and mm. it it's called scrubs. Mm -mm. And yeah, you you're you're I'm 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 thinking they should Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like a med thing. <laughs> <laughs> you look nice, thank actually. You, you. So, can I, are you single right now? Um, I, I'm, I'm single, but I'm dating. Mm -hmm. So, do you think, uh, what is your opinion about the uh, fine men here in the Philippines? Men in the Philippines? I can I can say it in general. general but I can generalize mm. it. In my experience, um, we have this quote in Visaya like Mayra mm. Sasugo. Uh, but I can't really tell that Mayra Sasugo because it depends on the situation. It, all, it, it grows, we mm. grow, we mature, but sometimes we are in the process of learning. So I can't blame men, mm. but also I can bl blame women. Mm. It, it's just like we're growing, we're mm. maturing. Like, Oh, what she said, guys, like Myra is so good. It means like you're just sweetest in the beginning, sweetest yeah. in the beginning. <laughs> so, first questions: um, What is your plan for your future family? Mm. Um, basically, technically, my plan for my family is to give them the the bright future, mm. the bright life. Like um, I can provide them the things that they need and the things that they want and especially to my brother I wanted him to you know, finish studying I want to give them if I could give them the world then I wow <laughs> I was an ideal <laughs> yeah. so are you basically right now a breadwinner um, I, I cannot say that I'm really a breadwinner because I have my stepfather mm -hmm. But my stepfather focusing on my brother, mm -hmm. his biological son. Mm -hmm. So I am the breadwinner of myself, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm also doing this and uh, really work hard mm -hmm. for my mother, for my brother, for my family. Mm -hmm. So how many siblings do you have? Only one uh, brother. I I have uh, two siblings, mm -hmm. but my. Uh, 
our elder, Eldestin, uh, she is already married. She has already Ah, okay. So, do you have any subscribe? Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> How many children do you have in the future? Well, wow. what do you want to have in the future? If God will allow me to have to become a parent, to become a mother, mm -hmm. then I would like to have three. <laughs> three, why? But I really love to have, you know, a twin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really my dream to have a twin. So, what is your ideal man? Ideal man. Honestly, a man from uh, or a man which is a gift from a god. I don't know what kind of man mm -hmm. the God will gonna yeah. to give you, but you trust everything yeah. to God. It's just he is a God fearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, he respects me, mm -hmm. he loves me, he support me, mm -hmm. and he is willing to sacrifice. Yes. Mm -hmm well into sacrifice <laughs> yeah okay do you think right now in the philippines there's a lot of single parents here yeah there's a lot of single parents. what is your opinion about it um, my opinion about it because um i think um, they are just following their heart mm -hmm. but not really focusing on what is in the their future mind, in the mind mm -hmm. because Sometimes our heart is deceitful, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's because we love that person. Mm -hmm. We love that person that we, really, you know, value them, love mm -hmm. them. But, but yeah. I think we have, uh, if we just, you know, think, uh, we have that kind of mindset, like, if we don't really follow our heart, our heart all the time. Mm -hmm. So as what you've said earlier, most Filipino women follow their heart. That's the all reason the why um, they got into like... But sometimes it's um, it's also because of the men, mm. irresponsible men. Mm, responsible men. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes a lot of Filipinos, they fall into love and then suddenly that they didn't no, they didn't even yeah, think that it was gonna work. Because they're not prepared. Mm, they're not prepared they're, as well. Yeah, they're not prepared. Yeah. Also. So, do you think like causing a lot of single parents right now, like having intimate in the early age, and then they refuse condoms, so that, that is what happened? Um, it really does because, you know, having intercourse or having a sex without, or unprotected sex, Mm. Do you think like it is not good to to don't have a unprotected uh, to be unprotected in in bed or like that? Honestly, because you know um, I'm studying in mm. medical field related. I think my suggestion to you guys <laughs> just use you know um, condoms or what contraceptive pills, but you should you know um, ask it. To a doctor, to mm -hmm. a professional, so that it's safe and um, to avoid, you know, early pregnancy, just use condom. Yeah, that's right. So, do you think right now, like, um, it is good to, um, I mean, it is common to a Filipina or like younger generations right now to have intercourse, even though not married yet? Yeah, because you know. In 21st century, mm -mm. Um, I think almost of young young children, mm. they don't believe um, marriage first before sex. Mm. And uh, it's, it's a sad reality. Yeah, that's a sad reality. So, what if your partner wants to use condom because he's not ready yet or don't want to have kids? What if you guys already married and he... he he refused to um, don't have kids. Well, I think um, contraceptive mm. pills mm. is. So you will going to use a contraceptive? Yeah. What if he wants to have a vasectomy when he don't have any chance to have a baby? Do you think it's not so good, like building a family? To, ha to don't have a child. Mm -hmm. um, practically, you know. 
we are now in a generation that it, it is really hard to find money, to find a job, yeah. to find a source of income. So uh, you you just have to have you know plan before marriage. Plan. Mm -hmm. You guys should ask mm -hmm. what is really your plan in the future in the family or after marriage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Communication is the key. Yeah, exactly. Matters. So do you think you can date someone who will not going to produce any kids? I guess so. Mm. I I can say that I can't date, but I don't know if if I'm going to share him that I really wanted kids. Then I will open it. Then I will just you know um, wait for his response or his that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Can you see yourself with someone and having a family together? Yeah. 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 Why? Yes. Um, it is one of your biggest yeah, dreams. And, and I really, I really wanted to be a mom. A mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think a Filipina refuse condom because they want children? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm also thinking that um, it's for their health. You mm -hmm. know? for protection mm -hmm. okay do you think one of hard days now is to find a genuine relationship yeah but i always believe that um just don't find it no mm -hmm. just just wait but mm -hmm. don't, don't it, find it, will it. Come. it will come the right time yeah time yeah. will come time yeah. will come because like god's god's um always prepared someone for us yeah just you know, wait and pray. Just mm. don't find it. Wait yeah. and pray. Wait. So are you doing right now, like, wait and pray? Yeah, I'm not in a rush. Mm. You know? <laughs> I'm not rushing. <laughs> so do you think, like, it's a good choice for you to date, like, um, a Filipino or a foreigner? Preferences? I, I don't know. I already have ex, mm. which is Filipino. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but if someone with a fam, mm. they're a fam. Well, um, you know, interested to... Mm. Interested to you. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> right? So do you think age matter to you? No. No? No. So, have you seen a lot of Filipinas dating a older ones? I um, mean, Filipinas dating older a fam? I heard some. I heard some. Like what if like you said like you don't it doesn't matter what if they are already 60s I don't know but it it, it, it all matters in the feelings right yeah I can't date someone if I don't you know I don't mm. feel like I, I love them yeah even they're young yeah, but but if why not yeah <laughs> so like you're planning to go to another country to work as a caregiver what country that you're going to um my dream country, uh, America. America. And uh, Switzerland. And mm -hmm. Oh my God, Switzerland so so. <laughs> but I really don't know if it, it God's. Yeah. So, um, do you have any in mind right now, like specific countries? I really love Switzerland. Switzerland. So, can do you think as a Filipina, it's hard for you to? Um, find work there in Switzerland or to get out of this country to work it, as a it's caregiver? Given. It's a given because finding a job is really hard. Mm -hmm. um, it's either in the, here in the Philippines mm -hmm. or there in abroad. It's really hard. Mm -hmm. But it always matters in your interest mm -hmm. or your willingness. Mm -hmm. I am very much willing to find a wow. job. To find ways. <laughs> yeah, find ways. There's always a find ways, yes. you know? Okay, what are your rules to you set yourself right now? What are the rules, to, like in terms of dating? Well, um, just um, respect me, that earn me, mm. <laughs> respect me, earn me, and uh, I just don't like to see man who is rushing, you know, mm -mm. just relax and yeah. So, um, is there any like? Uh, have you thought before like there is a, should be a specific countries that you want to date? To date? Uh, to date? Before like have you thought about it before? Like for example, I want to date with American man. Yeah, I know 
love that I thought that you know mm -hmm. yes <laughs> so why there's a lot of Filipinas date um partner is that because of their skin color no I guess uh, it's experience experience yeah, the trauma the mm. failed relationship mm -hmm. so so do you think Filipinas can move on easily after you know breaking like for example uh, you guys are well going to break up for like um, you guys been together for a year and you're gonna break up suddenly. Do you think Filipinas just can move on quickly? It depends on the the reason and mm -hmm. your um, your connection to your partner. Mm -hmm. It really depends. Yeah, you some have... can easily move on, but some are not. Yeah, you're right. So anyway, thank you, thank you so what? much for answering our my, all you. my questions and thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you, too. thank you, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much everyone and God bless us all. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive an updates whenever I posted a new video. Bye-bye!